Hello, my name is Mike Geig, and welcome to my video on streaming uh, data from a network, uh, which is part of my uh, series on Windows programming with C Sharp. Now, this part has been all about files, all right? Uh, reading files, writing files, their information, things like that. However, since we talk about streams uh, in this part, I figure it's also a good place to talk about this. We're not really working with files per se in, in this particular uh, video, but we are working with streams and that was close enough for me. So what I want to do is I want to show you how we can stream data uh, from uh, basically a, a network source. In this case, we're going to use a web page, right? And we can put it into our programs. All right, so uh, it's it's a fairly simple process. It shouldn't be a long video, but I kind of want to show you. So I'm going to go to Toolbox here. Um, I'm going to add a button and a text box. All right, um, the button will move down here. The text box will make multi-line, and we'll make much bigger. That looks about good. Okay, now and so all the real work is going to be done in the code behind. Now, like before, we're going to need using system.io, but we're also going to need a using system.net, okay, uh, network capabilities, all right? And this is going to go real simple. We're basically going to make a web request, okay? Uh, with this web request, we are going to look for a response. With that response, we are going to open a stream, and with that stream, we are going to read from that stream. Okay, uh, those are basically the steps there, and we'll walk through each one. All right, so first things first is create a request. In this case, it's going to be a web request. So I'm going to web be, uh, say web request my request. All right, just like that. All right, uh, we're actually going to say equals web request dot create. We want to create a request. In this case, I'm going to hard code something. But we could use a text box to read it in, and we're just going to do Google. Um, and I do want to do HTTP. Uh, www.google.com okay just like that so we're requesting data from Google all right the, your browser does something very similar to this okay and then we need to track a response so I'm gonna create a web response all right and I'm gonna call it my response we're just gonna get information back from Google all right so we're gonna say my request uh, dot get response uh, there we go just basically saying, hey, Google, give me an answer, okay? And then from that response, that response is going to contain some data. We're going to build a stream out of that, a stream of data. So I'm going to say a stream, all right, not a stream reader, a stream writer, just a stream. We're going to call it response stream, all right? We're going to say equals uh, my response. Uh, did I not use a capital R? I didn't. I want to. Just my convention, I like it. And we're going to say my response, all right, dot get response stream. So we're basically saying, okay, we have a response. Now let's get a stream out of that, all right? And then finally we can begin working with the data with a stream reader, all right? My reader, and it's going to equal new stream reader. And our what we're going to read, the stream we're going to read is our, going to be our response stream. Okay, so it's four steps to get to a stream reader. All right, we create our, our request, we get a response, we build a stream out of the response, and then we initialize our reader with that stream. Now we can begin actually working with this. All right, so what I can do, I mean, right off the bat, realistically, is I can say textbox one dot text, all right, uh, equals my reader, or not my request, my reader dot read to end. And then text box one, or not text box one, my reader dot close. Okay, that's simple. All right, let's run it. So what I'll do is I'll hit this button that's going to go to Google. Sometimes it takes a second. Sometimes it's much faster, like here. And we see, hey, Google information. Of course, I didn't make this text box scrollable. I probably should. Uh, let me close this here. Let me click on the text box. Uh, let me find scroll bars. Let's do both vertical and horizontal. Um, and now we'll run it again, and now we can scroll all of uh, Google's text, all right? So when you go to google.com, that's all the information, okay? It's not pretty, you know, it's not formatted very well, but it's there. The, the data is there, it can be parsed, if, you know, if you do the, the work, you can make something quite readable out of that. Okay, so 
that's all I really want to show you in this video. It's a real short video, really simple thing. It seems pretty complex, but it's really not difficult. There's just the four steps. You make a request, you get a response, you turn the response into a stream, and then you build a reader from that stream, and then you read it. All right, and be sure to close it when you're done. Okay, so that's going to cover my video on the uh, uh, on streaming from the network uh, using the web request, uh, and that should conclude this part of the series.